The Baby Cry Transmitter from Bellman and Symphon is part of the Visit Smart Home system that helps you keep tabs on your home. It will notify you as soon as your baby needs you, even if you are asleep or a couple of rooms away. The baby monitor works wirelessly with our full range of receivers. Let's look in the box. Here is the baby monitor with a table stand, an instruction manual in multiple languages, and a screw and wall plug. Now, to set up the baby monitor, remove the battery tab. Here is the microphone that detects sound or the baby crying in the room. When the sound reaches a certain decibel, the baby monitor will activate and send out a radio signal. Place it on the table with the stand or mount it on the wall with the screws. Make sure the baby monitor is out of the child's reach. The recommended distance is one to six feet. To test the connection, press both buttons simultaneously on the baby monitor. The LED lights up in green to show that the transmitter is activated and sending out a radio signal. The receiver will light up an orange LED. In addition, it starts to sound, flash, or vibrate depending on the receiver. Now the baby cry transmitter is ready to use. That's how easy it is to set up. Here are some additional features. You can adjust the sensitivity and delay setting of the baby monitor. Here is the top button to adjust the sensitivity, and here is the bottom button to adjust the delay. There are notes on the battery cover for an easy reference. When you press a button, the corresponding LED will change color indicating the baby monitor's current status. If the baby monitor is not activated when the baby cries, increase the sensitivity. If it's activated too easily, reduce the sensitivity. If it's activated too early, increase the delay. If it's activated too late, reduce the delay. To turn off the baby monitor, press and hold both buttons until the two LEDs light up in orange. To turn it on, press and hold both buttons until the two LEDs light up in green. The baby monitor also has an external trigger jack that allows you to connect other accessories. You can connect it with the contact mat and place it next to the baby's crib. If the baby steps on the mat, the transmitter will alert the receiver. You can also connect the magnetic switch. Place it on the door to the room or the window. When someone opens the door or window, the transmitter will alert the receiver. The baby monitor is powered by two AA batteries that can last up to six months. When the power LED blinks in orange, the batteries need to be replaced. Next to the batteries are two different switches. The radio key switch is in its default position and works with all of our receivers out of the box. The signal pattern switch sets the transmitter to trigger different notification patterns on the receiver. Normally, you don't need to change these two switches unless you would like to customize the system. If so, please watch our separate instruction video. And that is the Baby Cry Transmitter, part of the Visit Smart Home system.